Uh, good afternoon, we're here back at our uh, East Keelor job, uh, the um, house with the uh, basement. As you can see, uh, the retaining walls have now been constructed, obviously. They've come out of the ground and the next stage after that was to build the frame and framing works have now commenced. So from this point onwards, it's pretty much a standard build in the sense that um, we're basically building a you know, uh, frame on slab and floor joists. Just a couple of things to highlight here because it's a difficult site and one of the costs when it comes to difficult sites is the uh, structure or the structural supports that are required. And as you can see here, uh, there's quite a considerable amount of steel. And as you can see up the top there, uh, quite a considerable amount of beams supporting the floors. So as we walk through the house, uh, you'll see these steel columns which will come down. They're picking up loads from up above and transferring them down onto the uh, concrete slab. So there's one here which is the balcony and that goes down that steel beam onto the concrete slab. There's another one here for the garage that'll be picking up the roof. Uh, and here, this is an important one, picking up the uh, uh, first floor and that's transferring down onto this uh, retaining wall. If we uh, walk up into the home, uh, we'll also see quite a bit of um, structure in here. So we've got uh, steel running through this section and steel running through this section and then um, and then your steel columns which are transferring all those loads down, to the, uh, down onto the concrete slab. Also, you'll see here, there's our floor joist system. It's a prefabricated floor joist system, which is called the posi strut system. And you can now see how the frame and the brick walls and the structural steel all integrate as to creating one sort of um, one, one structure as such. Uh, if we go out the backyard, uh, you'll see now we've got uh, the concrete sleeper retaining walls have been, um, have been completed and, uh, and looking quite nice. And here, um, last time we were here, this was just uh, brick piers. Now we're in what we call the subfloor. So this is the uh, the floor. Um, we're si actually sitting under the floor of the house. This is all going to be insulated, and um, and that and that creates the uh, the floor for the next two levels above, as opposed to the garage and the structure at the other end of the house, which is all sitting on a concrete slab. So through here, uh, just quickly to show you. Um, this house has got quite a bit of subfloor space, so it's going to turn into some good storage for um, uh, for our client. And um, we can see here uh, again the house is split level, so we can see the subfloor, the structural beams, and the floor joists all working as one uh, to create the floor that uh, that the house is going to sit on. As we um, move back out of the subfloor and up into the uh, backyard. Actually, we might go through the house in this one. <clears throat> so we'd uh, have to go uh, to get to the upstairs or back to the ground level. We'd have to go up the stairs, which in the house actually going to be here. And here you'll see the upstairs or ground, the, 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 the first floor area or these are split level homes so this is the first floor area which is on a sheet floor and it then uh, steps down because it follows the contour of the land and then this is back onto the ground floor which is the 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 floor of the subfloor we were just sitting underneath a few minutes ago and uh, this will eventually have a roof and uh, more floor joists and um, oh, actually sorry trusses and then a roof and then that's pretty much the uh, footprint of the house Going back into the backyard, um, the retaining walls are now all complete. The tanking or the waterproofing is all the black stuff you can see, <coughs> excuse me, painted on the concrete. So that's all uh, waterproofing that's going to, to uh, protect these walls from water that may seep down. We have our Aggie drains, so these are the drains that go behind the walls 
which are also going to pick up uh, any moisture that builds up behind these walls from uh, coming in from next door and that'll uh, divert any excess water that builds up behind these walls back into the stormwater system. So uh, this is a pretty quick video from this point onwards we're going to be back into conventional construction uh, but probably a good one just to show you how uh, how the structure and where a lot of the costs in, the, in these um, difficult sites come from. So once again, uh, Renmark Homes, your uh, sloping block experts. If you need any information, uh, flick onto our website and um, there's plenty of information there on, um, on construction, floor plans and, uh, and, and many articles on different types of um, constructions including uh, internal finishes and fittings. Once again, thank you and we'll see you next time.